What's up, Collective? Northern Lights here, here. And I am bringing you another reading. Uh, I went ahead and pulled out some cards to see what Spirit wanted to bring to our attention today. Uh, and I first pulled from the Believe in Your Own Magic deck. And what came out here, and actually how they came out, was pretty intriguing. So, we have the Bitch Fire card. It says, Stand Up For Yourself. And then next is this Castle card. And then this Phoenix card, which we've seen both of these recently. I posted a written reading about these two. And actually, these came up in a, in a video reading that I did as well. Um, and so what I'm getting with these three here is that you have successfully strike the match and let it, let these towers fall. Okay. These are castle walls here and you've, you've let it all burn with this Phoenix energy here and you're, that is the towers of your past. The things that you know, that you knew, were no good for you, that were keeping you stuck, keeping you stagnant. And in this season that we are in, it's all about bringing down towers that know, that we know are going to keep us stuck. And we're tired of riding that roller coaster ride, that carousel, round and round, round and round, round and round. Okay, breaking karmic cycles, cutting ties with people, situations, and things. And so what you did was you successfully struck a match and threw it on and let it burn all the way down to ashes. And in my written reading that I posted... You know, we sometimes we it's okay to two two two. It's okay to grieve the loss. You'll find you might find yourself walking through the wreckage, okay, and crumbling the remains through your fingers. I just saw two three four. It's a way of bringing closure to yourself so that you can move forward on your path. So that you can rewrite your story. Once upon a time, and the rest is blank. Left for you to fill it in. You're rewriting a new story for yourself. But in order to do that, you had to set fire to whatever and whoever was in your life that was not going to come, that couldn't come with you in this next chapter of your journey. And it actually looks like you're starting a whole new book, not just another chapter, but a completely new novel. You're not willing to, the only thing you're bringing with you into this new novel is the lessons that you've learned in the past. And it's okay to remember what the lessons are so that you can bring them forward. Just as long as you don't unpack and live here. Okay, this is not a livable space. This is this is burnt to a crisp. There's nothing left here. Remember why you struck the match in the first place. Because you were standing up for yourself. Because you know what you want. Because you have goals and ambitions. You're a visionary. You can see, you, you saw something better. This is like an Ace of Wands kind of energy as well. You saw the opportunity for something better for yourself. And you took it. And so that meant that you had to let the past burn. You had to let it go. Say goodbye. And I feel like this here is saying goodbye. It's bringing closure. So that you can start the narrative on your new novel, on your new story. <clears throat> and so with that, 
when you level up, okay, the saying goes, new levels, new devils, right? Someone is seeing you build a new castle for yourself, okay? You've let the old one burn. You've let it crumble. It wasn't solid to begin with. And someone here is watching you build this new foundation for yourself. This new castle where you are claiming your throne. And you're also working together with other people. But your throne is endless. It's limitless. The possibilities here that you could write for yourself in this new novel, in this completely new story, you're, you're recreating yourself. And you're coming together with other people that are just as magical. You're different in many different ways, but you come together as one. And I feel like there's someone here. I feel like this is this person. It says slay them dragons, but we around here know that the dragons are our friends. These dragons are protecting your castle. You know that your dragons protect you and your home. And I feel like with this person here, she's got her little hand balled up in a fist. She's got a sword. She's ready for battle. It looks like she has been through a battle before and lost a leg, but she obviously didn't learn because she's coming to approach the approach your door, knowing that there's dragons here. Protecting your new story your new castle, your new life. And I feel like with this card here, you've reclaimed your throne. You have, you, you've built your new castle and you're sitting comfortably in it, enjoying this new, this new life that you have built for yourself with your soul, your, your soul family here all around you coming from many different perspectives and avenues of life, coming together as one. You understand that everything is connected in the universe and we all bring different perspectives and different lessons that we have learned that we can intertwine into our own. We can take the lessons from other people and apply them to our own. If we don't need, if we don't want to go down a certain, certain karmic lane, a certain karmic lesson, we can take what other people have learned and apply that to ourselves. It's about coming together as one. I feel like that's what the universe is trying to achieve. But this person here, the tea comes out in the tea leaves, <laughs> literally. First card out was a finger, okay? Warning you of a problem either now or in the near future, and it's pointing right at this younger woman energy, and this does look like a younger woman than this person here, okay? Who's carrying a dagger? Coming right to your doorstep. Thinking that they can slay your dragons that are protecting you. Could be a family member here with this seahorse with the family matters. But whatever it is, this person is an enemy that's working against you with the bat. Okay? They're coming right, they want to, they're bringing negative energy right to your door. And they're being, they're trying to be clever about it with this fox. I also have the dragon here. Okay, I feel like this person is a fire-breathing dragon, but I feel like they're delusional. Okay, they, they're... They're not in the mindset of a dragon that's protective. This is a dragon that will destroy. And self-delusion is absolutely a, an energy that will 
destroy anything in its path that will come at you with a dagger to stick you in the back, working against you behind your back, okay? This person thinks they're, they've got some kind of clever plan to bring some kind of something your way. Next out, we have the apple with the temptation will test you. Okay, there's a snake here. And I feel like, and then also too with the flag, it says do not be tempted to lower your standards. With these two here, I feel like Spirit is saying do not lower your standards. Even though you're going to be tempted to because this person wants to bring out the old you. Okay, you've set fire to the old you. you. You've let that person burn. You have grown. You have changed. You have evolved. You now know that how to handle situations differently than you used to. And this person's going to try to get you to come out of pocket. Okay, been picking up on this energy. I feel like it's going to be multiple people. Because when you grow and evolve, and people in your haters notice they go come, try and come at you and the reason why is because you're over here behind your new castle walls sitting on your throne with other people of like-mindedness just over here just killing it in your career or the way you make money or your business or your home life or your, even your love life. But I have a career card here. So I have a feeling it has everything to do with how you make your money. With the haystack here, karma, you will reap what you have sown. You have put out a loving vibration. You emit a loving vibration out into the world. You emit this yellow, white, blue light. Okay, depending on what color. Your aura is 1212. Could even be green with for the heart chakra. And also for money. But whatever it is, you're reaping what you have sown. And so is this person. Okay? Karma goes both ways. Karma goes both ways. And I feel like this person has been emitting a negative energy with this bat, fox, snake, fire breathing dragon with a dagger energy and they're going to try and get you to retaliate and that's you have simply risen above that type of energy with this eagle here triumph over troubles and obstacles you 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 know how to rise above it because you know what's important to you and you know that spirit is guiding you. You're on the right path with the arrow. It says you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. And it absolutely has something to do with your work. You've gone through some kind of metamorphosis. You've gone through a transition. You've gone through a transformation with the butterfly. This is a change for the better. You have your crown. Honor and respect will come to you. That's how, that's with, what this energy is here, okay? You've claimed your throne. You've claimed your crown. And somebody, this person, is wanting to come along and, and steal your crown. They want to knock your crown right off your head. I feel like you've fought your battles, okay? The most difficult part of a situation is over. You're, you're at the point where your blessings are starting to roll in or they will soon. Okay. And it's time to act because there's a lot of changes coming in to your life. Things are changing for the better. And the moon. Okay. Some of it with this moon energy, some of it is, has yet to be seen. The moon is hidden energy. Some of it is still making its way to you. But it's, you have the key. That's a successful outcome to your problems. Okay. So you have triumph over troubles and obstacles. And the key is a successful outcome. You are well on your way to your pot of gold. 
and it's time to act on any ideas, any downloads, any messages um, that you're getting regarding your career. And this person, I feel like, wants to put a stop to whatever it is that you're building for yourself, this new castle that you have built for yourself. This person wants to, they want to destroy whatever foundation that they, that you have built around you and under your feet. Little do they know is that it is indestructible. You have built something so solid that this person with their little tiny dagger is not going to be able to, they're not going to make it to this door. They're not even going to, it's not even going to make it to your threshold. Your dragons are not going to allow that to happen. I'm feeling called to go ahead and get some of my dragon decks out. I haven't pulled my dragons out in a long time. Let's go ahead and see what they say. <clears throat> yeah, look, right out of the box. Orange dragon. Spread, bring soul families and communities together. Spreads belonging, warmth, and oneness. Bringing people together everywhere. Holy shit. Thank you, spirit. Wow. Oneness. Confirmation. The orange dragon. I'm going to go ahead and read that. I I haven't pulled this deck out in so long. And that is confirmation right there that I have the right deck in my hand. Wow. Oh, I think I just saw it. Orange dragon. Yes. Fifth dimensional orange dragons emit flames of joy, warmth, and acceptance. They come to us when our orange navel chakra is open, for this indicates that we are ready to spread joy and oneness. As the world moves towards the new golden age, soul families and groups are drawing together. Orange dragons help light people up so that they recognize each other and enjoy a sense of belonging. Lighting people up. Wow, Ace of Wands. Wow. They bring fifth dimensional communities together, communities where people co-create, help each other, and practice harmony and oneness. Many of us need to work with them to bring this about. When you pick up your, this card, this guidance is to see the divine light in everyone. Look for the bonds that link you. The orange dragons will help you to spread their light of warmth, welcome, and acceptance to all peoples, races, and cultures. Let that light shine through you. You will fin find a sense of belonging and oneness in your heart will open. This will help you to develop your abilities of higher manifestation. When you visualize the peoples and animals of the world coming together in harmony and acceptance, orange dragons will flood your vision with their light. Archangel Metatron himself will then take it to energize the plan for the earth. I just got an Archangel Metatron deck. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that deck out so that we can get a card. Hang on, I got to find it. What did I do with it? Where are you at, Metatron? Where are you at? There you are. We're going to go ahead and pull from the Metatron deck. See, this is how my readings all come together. Gee, I love it. So hold the highest vision for the golden age that is being prepared and do your part to bring your community and the world into spiritual accord. This is a message of higher peace. Damn. Like, okay, my energy read on this card was 110% accurate. Thank you, spirit. My spirit team, I tell you what. I tell you what. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Wow. Let's see what else. Look, another orange dragon on the cut. The fire dragon burns up lower energies around you. You are safe and protected. Be determined and inspired. Clear your soul pathway. Yeah, 
You did. You let it burn. I'm telling you. And I feel like these people, these these lower energy, lower vibrational energies around you are feeling the burn. They're feeling the burn. They're feeling the burn. Earth and fire dragon works with you to clear the fifth dimensional ley lines. It's time for service. When you give, you receive. And look at this. Oh my God, the crystal yellow dragon opens you to higher learning and wisdom. Expand your crown chakra for illumination. Walk the higher spiritual path. I'm telling you, we just, my last reading was all about a crown chakra upgrade. And look, we have the golden solar dragon too. That's another orange dragon. Helps you stand in your masculine power with wisdom. Let your DNA be ro reprogrammed and light codes activated. Become a spiritual leader. An inspired leader. Wow. That, whoa. That was all, that was on a cut. All these orange dragons. This book just said the orange dragons will come together. The orange dragons will help you to spread their light of warmth and welcome and acceptance to people of all races and cultures. This is crazy. When you visualize peoples and animals of the world coming together in harmony and acceptance, orange dragons will flood your vision with their light. All these orange dragons just literally just came out. And it speaks of Archangel Metatron. And look, there's an orange dragon. This orange dragon, the fire dragon, just happens to be on the cover. Wow. This is crazy. <laughs> Oh my God. And that just happened right in front of y'all's eyes. We had cut the deck to the fire and water dragon. Enables your life to flow with loving force. Prepare to change. Prepare for change and move forward quickly. Expect the unexpected and have fun. Okay. I'm not sure that anything else is going to come out. The rainbow dragon brings the leap of joy that opens new doors. Have trust, rediscover wisdom, expect miracles, and accept opportunities. We have the rainbow right here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Anything else from this deck spirit? I'm going to run through it once or twice here. Lilac Fire Dragon, the Violet Flame. That's the first thing I heard when I, when I saw that, which is all about clearing karma. And, oh my gosh, transmute through the, transmutes through the power of divine love. Open up to transcendent love and enlightenment. Purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. The Violet Flame. That's been coming up a lot, too. Wow. We have the deep blue dragon. Ooh, he's pretty. Keeps you safe by clearing your pathway. Trust that you are protected. Walk on a path of light. We have the royal blue and gold dragon here. Oh my gosh, look. There's another orange dragon. It says, the orange gold dragon from Arctur Arcturus opens you to knowledge for the new golden age. This book was just talking about the golden age with this dragon right here. Carry the energy of the future and be a guiding light. Wow. This one, the royal blue and gold dragon, 
strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. Awaken to your own majesty. Wear your cloak of power with pride. Your majesty. Your crown. Your throne. Damn. <laughs> wow. That just, shoo. Wow. I want to look and see what this lilac fire dragon says. There it is. These dragons are fifth dimensional. However, they can reach up to the ninth dimension to access the awesome lilac fire of source, which is a new energy recently graced to earth. This carries transcendent love as well as enlightenment. When these dragons pour their lilac fire over and through us, we are bathed in divine feminine light, which has the power to dissolve all lower energies and pure love and bring us peace, hope, and joy. It also bathes us in the higher divine feminine qualities of wisdom, agape, and oneness. Oneness, again, okay, I'm drawn to read certain, certain cards out. Having this energy in our aura may even allow us to experience bliss and ecstasy. Okay, I mentioned your aura. Wow. When you choose this card, a lilac fire dragon will touch you with incredible ninth dimensional light. So call it in and ask it to touch you. As it approaches you, breathe in divine love and sense the lilac fire enveloping you. This will enable you to let go of the old easily, calmly, and graciously. See? Letting go. And letting it burn. Wow. Damn, spirit. Damn. Notice particularly how you feel when this dragon touches you and sense the purity of the love that it radiates. Ask this dragon to remain with you to anchor the glorious light of the lilac fire and to take into a, a new illuminated way of being. When you do this, love radiating from your heart will become purer and more beautiful. People will sense this and respond with trust, respect, and gratitude. Yeah, respect and honor will come to you with that purple crown. Look at this. I just can't even... Consciously work with this beautiful dragon and notice the difference it makes to your life and the quality of love around you. Wow, that is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. This deep blue dragon is a ninth dimensional. Oh, wait. No, that's the deep blue galactic dragon. I did not pull that one. Okay. Anyway, wow. We got some powerful dragons that you can call call around you. And the rainbow dragon will bring you the leap of joy that will open new doors. Okay, the most difficult part is over. It's time for your door to come in, open, and your blessings to come in. Wow. Just wow. Okay, my spirit team telling you what. Okay, now I gotta find room for all these dragons. <laughs> All these orange dragons that came out, just wow. Okay. And they, they, 
will burn off any of these lower vibrational energies coming your way. Enables your life to flow with loving force with the fire and water dragon. Keeps you safe by clearing your pathway. Strengthens you to stand in your own power with wisdom. Okay, standing up for yourself. Striking a match and throwing it on anything and anyone, any energy, not literally, <laughs> that wants to stand in your way. Let's go ahead and pull a card from this Metatron Oracle here. What does the collective need to know, Archangel Metatron? Okay. Expansion. I saw that card as I cut it open. Infinite potential of the universe. Expand your consciousness and tap into the limitless possibilities of the universe. The Metatron Cube is believed to contain the seed of life, which is a symbol of the infinite potential of the universe and the creative power of the divine. Your potential for expansion is limitless. Wow. It's endless. It's limitless. There's no end to the potential that you can write into your new novel, into your story, into your new you, into your new reality. Damn. Okay. Phew. Wow. Okay, I also want to go ahead and get one of these crystals from this crystal deck. I will read what the book has to say about it. I just saw clear quartz, tiger's eye, and obsidian. So what I'm gathering from those three right there is the clear quartz is going to give you the ability to see any of these energies coming towards you. You're going to be able to see clearly with the tiger's eye as well. Your, your third eye chakra is going to be wide open. And with the obsidian, remember that is your concealed weapon against lower vibrational energies. So... If you resonate with this, go ahead and meditate with your clear quartz, tiger's eye, and obsidian. Okay. Which message do we need right now? What do I need to read? We have citrine that popped out. That is this fiery orange dragony kind of energy wow wow yep there it was right there citrine embodies the bright solar light that lies within the core of our being inviting the joy and blessings of the sun hindu goddess lakshmi and the norman Ro roman norse goddess abundantia upon our path that sounds like it derives from the word abundance these aspects of the divine feminine embody the play and joyful expression of creation in our lives citrine's shining radiance reminds us of the importance of power purposeful play in creating prosperity that aligns with our soul's highest potential it with its bright and powerful energy citrine helps us connect to the true meaning of abundance Citrine, with an energy of the harvest, embodied by goddess Demeter, teaches us to recognize the perfect moment to reap our abundance. And we, 
and when to have the courage and inner confidence to watch and wait. Okay. Knowing when to take action. Knowing when to have the courage to take action and also when to wait. And knowing when to reap in your harvest. Wow. Citrine is a beacon of optimism, reminding us to look on to the bright side and embrace the potential for joy that surrounds us. Like the warm rays of the sun, gratitude can illuminate our lives if we choose to see beyond the clouds of stress, doubt, and illusion and connect to a higher level of experience through our spiritual knowing. Trust in your abilities to connect with the divine opportunities and inspiration and let abundance and joy flow into your life. The influences for this card are the sun, the fire element, see, told you, this is crazy, solar light, creatrix, sacral and solar plexus chakra, goddesses Lakshmi and Abundantia and Demeter. Okay. I have a Creatrix card in my, this Elemental Empath deck, which I am now going to find and dig out. I call upon the bright and joyful and abundant energy of Citrine to activate the solar fire of the Creatrix within me. Within these blessings, I trust that I am guided towards my highest good and prosperity in all areas of my life. To activate this this crystal the citrine you hold the citrine crystal imagining a joyful energy of the sun as you imagine your citrine crystal glowing with joy bring to mind things in your life that you are already grateful for allow the energy of citrine to amplify your feelings of gratitude with a pen and paper write a list of 20 things that you are grateful for now Notice how your feelings begin to shift as you focus on the positive aspects of your life. There may even be a physical feeling of warmth in your heart or a greater sense of ease and possibility. Next, write a list of five things that you desire. Know that your, great, that your state of gratitude brings more abundance and flow into your life. Trust the timing of the universe to bring these into your life in a way that is of the highest good for all. Keep your citrine crystal close to remind you that you are the creator of feelings and gratitude and abundance. And when you shine that joy into the world, the universe can't help but to mirror it back. Wow. I love it. You reap what you sow. You put out good dharma. And I was talking about how you emit this beautiful... I said yellow, white energy. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. The universe can't help but to mirror that back to you. You will reap what you have sown. This is gorgeous. And then Leo, okay, lion, that's fire energy right there. All of this, whoa, all of this is just coming together beautifully, beautifully. I love it. Wow. Creatrix. Okay, we're going to find that card. <laughs> we're going to find that card and we're going to see what it says. Give me a minute. There it is right there. Wow. It says express emotions birth your creation and its womb energy we've seen this card recently she's nursing her baby this is about nurturing your brand new ideas this new life that you're creating for yourself this new novel this new beginning okay it's about nursing it nurturing it Is this the water section? Yeah. Okay. You are a creator. 
you are a creatrix. As a human being, you are a creator, even if you don't identify as a creative person. As a woman, your womb, or energetic womb, if you don't have a physical one, like me, is a magical portal of creation that can channel life. Whether physical or energetic, that space within you is made for creation. This card is your call to channel that creative force in whatever form that takes for you. It is your time to birth creation into this reality. This could be through art, music, writing, dancing, crafts, building, etc. Anything that gets the creative juices flowing and allows your nature to be expressed through creation. Wow. See, you're rewriting your, your, your life. You're creating a brand new you. And you can write yourself exactly how any way you want to. It's about expansion. It's about creation. It's a seed of life. Look at this. Your womb is where your seed of life and creation grows and you expand on that. Damn. I'm telling you. Wow. Whatever it is that, okay, so because you're in all of this glorious, beautiful energy, whoever this is over here that's trying, that wants to bring something negative to your door, there's no way, there is absolutely no fucking way that your dragons or your spirit team, your ancestors are going to allow that to happen and they going to end up with another missing leg, okay, I'm telling you. Okay, that's all I'm going to read from that card. Just the first part of it. Wow. Okay. That was just... Phew. All the way... The way that all these decks just come together... It it's the interconnectedness. Everything comes together and it just pops my brain every single time. Every single time. I want to see what comes out of this dragon's wisdom. Look, oh my God, Temple of the Sun. Look, sunshiny, fiery, warm, yellow, bright energy. Look at this. Crystal yellow dragon. This is about crown chakra. The, it, um, I also saw, I thought I had this. Yeah, the golden solar dragon. Look at this. Look at this. This is about your sun shine. Your, your sun. Okay, the happiest card in the deck. This is about your sun coming into your life. You are about to, okay, all this smoke and dust of doubt and negative self-talk and pessimism and anything, any kind of negative energy that someone or something or a situation has put you in, you have set fire to it and you have freed yourself. And once, once the smoke clears, that sun is going to be able to just shine right on through. Okay, it just depends on where you're at in your timeline. Some of you are striking this match. Some of you are right here, okay, finding your closure. Some of you have already begun rewriting your new life, rewriting your new story, your new narrative. Okay, and some of you have already had the sun break through. You've already had the sun come through. Okay, let's get a couple of these. <clears throat> it's all about expansion on your creativity. You're, you're a creatrix. You're birthing something new. I just cut the deck to gratitude. Okay, this energy keeps coming up too. And it was also noticed, noted. You, when you're show gratitude, 
to the divine, they can't help but to bring you more. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's a death cycle, okay? It's a death and a rebirth, putting an ending to things. That's when the smoke has to settle and clear. The dust has to settle and clear in order for the sunshine to come through. Look, another yellow-orange dragon, bliss. I'm telling you. The Temple of the Sun is illuminating the pathway to your bliss. And the quickest way to do that is to show gratitude for what you already have. Okay, make that list of 20 things that you're grateful for and five things that you would like to manifest into your life. Wow. Damn, spirit. Damn. <laughs> I love this. Oh, my God. This is absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. We're getting ready to just have all the sunshine shine down on us and warm us up after a long, hard, and cold journey. Wow. I just dropped a bunch of these cards on the ground. Okay. I feel like that means we are done. I've got universe right here. It was the only one that flipped over. <laughs> Gratitude to the universe. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. Yeah, look. There's wisdom right there. Okay. The gift of divine wisdom. The pentacle. It keeps coming up. Keeping your thoughts positive. With the white dragon here. Keeping your thoughts pure. There's a purity here. Wow. Got prayer on the bottom of the deck with that purple dragon. Okay. The lilac fire. Wow. It's gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. All right, does this mean we get to get the dragon tarot out? I think so. Oh, I think so. We haven't got the dragon tarot out in a long time. Let's see what the dragon tarot has to say. Okay, let me scooch. <clears throat> these over here and I know we'll get some more information about this whoever this self delusional fire breathing dragon is over here yeah look they angry look at this they trying to create a storm any storms that come in stay in the eye of the storm they want to come through as a destructive force. They're, okay, then they're angry with that Knight of Swords there. This looks like an angry energy here. It was right on the cut. What else, spirit? Yeah, look. There's the Hierophant. Okay, there's the Divine right there. With the Rainbow Dragon. Protecting your castle. Wow. Hey, Protecting your castle. In this card, it's a pyramid. 
protecting your Akashic Records, protecting your past, present, and future. We've got a snake right here. We've got a monkey. Okay, there's the snake. There's the snake that we saw earlier. Right here. This person is slithering around. Trying to throw a monkey wrench into your plans. We've got the chariot. Okay. Forward movements. The fool. A brand new start. A brand new beginning. A brand new story. Based off of a leap of faith. And look, that is an orange dragon. <laughs> Following your intuition. Okay, the white tiger symbolizes intuition to me. After you've done a lot of healing with this four of swords here. You've done a lot of healing work on yourself. And you've reclaimed your confidence in yourself. This is the queen of wands here. You have, you, you have this is um, a visionary. This is someone that's driven. This is someone that's got drive. They will achieve whatever it is that they set their mind to. And look, there's an egg hatching right here. You're hatching a brand new idea. You're hatching a brand new life for yourself. There's this Ace of Wands energy right here. Whatever it is that you are doing for yourself, the universe will bless you. And, okay, and you're going to got the seven of wands here. You've got attacks coming in. You're going to have to uh, call upon, I'm here, call upon your dragons for defense. They will protect your new castle, your new baby, your new enterprise, I just heard. Yeah, yes, look at this. We've got the empress with the devil right here, okay? This is the difference between you, the two energies. Here you are, and you're loving, you're nurturing, you're calming energy. This is mother energy. This is creatrix energy right here here and then you've got this person in a devil energy but look at it that devil is chained that devil is chained this is the difference between this fox snake bat younger woman with the dagger energy and your energy I feel like the divine and the and your dragons will assist in keeping this lower vibrational energy chained up because they know their intentions. They know their intentions is to destroy. They're chaining themselves is what I'm hearing. Because you're after your ten of cups. And the divine is going to bring that Ten of Cups your way, whether this person likes it or not. I'm here in Labradorite as well with the Northern Lights here, and also, too, the Northern Lights Seer, okay? My name of my channel and what I call myself is derived from the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. I am very drawn to Labradorite, I, and I live in Alaska where I can harness the power of the Northern Lights and, and use them to bring you guys readings. This is all Labradorite. I'm obsessed with it. I'm extremely drawn to it. Let's see if I can get my purple one to go. I was showing my daughter earlier today. She hasn't seen a lot of my new crystals. Yeah, there it goes a little bit. It's hard with the amount of light that I don't have. Let's see if I can crack my window open. 
anyway, this one has a pink and purple flash. It's kind of hard to get it to go. But anyway, I'm hearing Labradorite is extremely beneficial right now. Along with your clear quartz, your tiger's eye, and your, your obsidian, and your citrine. Wow. What else do we need to know? Okay, we got one flipped over. The Sire of Pentacles. That's the king. This is financially on lock. This is holding it down. Okay? Financial stability. The Ten of Cups and financial stability. Financial security. That's like a businessman, businesswoman. Yeah. With the Eight of Wands. Okay? This is, remember I said... Rising above any attacks against you. Rising above any troubles or obstacles. This dragon, this orange dragon, is rising above any of these wands that are trying to come in and attack. I just cut the deck to the sun. Look at that. <laughs> you just can't even. And look, there's the five of swords. Okay, this person, this devil energy is insanely jealous. Is insanely jealous of your sunshine, of your glow up. I just heard they're jealous of your glow up. They can't figure out. I saw one of my viewers today. She made a comment in the chat. She said, Flow with the glow. And that's exactly what this is. You're, you're flowing with the glow. And this person has... Okay. There's this dragon slayer right here. They want to come in and slay your dragons. This, okay. This person, their horse done run off. And they're having to surrender to the dragon that they came to slay. Okay. I'm telling you. Wow. With the Five of Swords there, Five of Swords is all about self-sabotage, uh, self-delusion, okay? Yeah. Jealousy, envy. They're jealous of your glow up. But you have earned every single bit of it. These people think that this comes easy to us. They just haven't they just don't want to do the work. And that's where that's where the differences come along. Okay? Those that do the work will be blessed. I, yeah! I just cut the deck to the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Injustice. Okay? There's the justice. Okay? The, the rat is on one side and the divine wisdom with the owl is on the other. Justice will be weighed out. And what's going to happen is the rat is going to end up in five of pentacles in lack and loss. And the owl, which is you, is going to end up in the ten. I feel like everything that they tried to have you lose is going to come back to you times ten. And that will be your justice. Yeah, look, new money coming in to you with the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. This is new ideas, new money, multiple streams of income I just heard coming in. Your ships are coming in. Wow. Damn. <laughs> I just said multiple streams of income and look at that. There's the Seven of Cups. 
<laughs> all the things that you've dreamt of, okay? This is that gratitude list as well. All the things that you're grateful for and all the things that you want to manifest, okay? Your ships are coming in. New opportunities, new money. It's coming in. Multiple streams of income. Wow. I have the Two of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. This is about setting your intentions with the Two of Wands. This is about choosing a path. It's also an orange dragon. You have the world in your palm of your little claw. Okay? And with the Six of Pentacles, that is with intentions, setting the intentions of being fair, of being generous, of being kind, of paying it forward, okay? That's how you bring it in. Sharing, giving, being kind. This other person here, okay, they want to sit on their pinnacles and they don't want to share anything. They're, they're, they're hoarding. Okay, this is a miser energy right here, keeping it all to themselves. They have too tight of a grip on their pentacles, and they have to learn how to let go. That's one of their lessons that they're going to have to learn. You've put in the work with the eight of pentacles here. Okay, you pay attention to the details, you don't miss a thing. I feel like you're very, you're very detail-oriented. You're willing to put in the work with the Eight of Pentacles. You've already put in a lot of work. That's what's going to bring your Pentacles in. And the Nine of Cups. Oh my gosh, this is a second reading in a row that I've had the Nine of Cups with the star right next to each other. Wish fulfillment. Wishes granted. Miracles. I'm pretty sure that one of these cards said something about miracles. Wow. Damn. Yeah, I just cut the deck to <laughs> six of wands. Okay, that old dragon slayer that we saw. This one right here. Okay. This dragon got him picked up by the hood of his cape. And it's about to drop him to this devil. Here you go. Boom. <laughs> and this devil energy be hungry. Okay. This devil energy is never satisfied. This is about obsession. I feel like this person, with them being in this energy right here, wanting to take you down. Okay. Working against you. Trying to come up with plots and schemes to come up against you, to take you down, to try and get you to come out of pocket, to test you. I feel like, okay, that's this obsess obsessive energy here and coming from a lower vibration. Your dragons are going to take this dragon slayer and drop them right down to this devil here. Wow. Yeah. I just cut the deck to the tower. Okay. They want to bring down the walls of your newfound castle. These new walls. This new chapter. This new story. This new narrative that you're writing for yourself. All they're going to do. The inner universe is going to mirror that back to them. Anything that they've done in the past with this Six of Cups. Even. Any attacks that they've come at you in the past with, or anything that they're currently brewing up, it's gonna they're gonna bring down their own towers. Their their own world is gonna crumble around them. And that is gonna be the karma with the wheel of fortune here. It's going to turn in your favor. Wow. Yeah, with the judgment here, 
they're being they and they will be judged for this betrayal with the ten of swords because the unit wow because the universe sees all the universe been watching this person and the universe knows the truth the universe sees the truth with the ace of swords here They can see that this person has been watching, watching your four wands, watching your celebrations, watching you blossom and grow and dance around the maples in your home, in your business. You're thriving in this page of swords energy there. The universe has been watching this person watch you. Wow. Yeah, look, there's the death card right there, okay? This is a, the universe is about to bring this to an end. About to stop this person in their tracks. And they don't even see it coming with the moon, okay? Because they're so focused on whatever it is that you're doing. They don't even see it coming. We have temperance here. Stay balanced. Keep focused on whatever it is that you're doing. And it will come in. There's another rainbow dragon right there. This person is so invested and obsessed with watching you. Watching, I just got, watching every move that you make. Okay. You... They're they're gonna bring down their own towers. They're pretty. They're choking out their own their own world. They're they're choking out their own blessings. They're not even giving themselves a chance because they spend so much time focusing on you. They if they would spend that time focusing on themselves, okay, it's got them gripped. They are they're obsessed they've got their it's got their they're gripped around your tower they want to bring it down so bad wow it's actually becoming a burden look at that it will it's about to become a burden if they don't just drop that shit and leave you alone and put in the work on themselves and manifest for themselves. But are they going to do that? Of course not. They're not willing to put in the work. And manifest. And co-create with the divine. Like you do. Wow. Person. People like this. Are lazy. They don't know. How. To. Do things for themselves. They just want to take from other people. The universe don't like that. Universe been watching. Damn. Um, I want to go ahead and what are we pulling from, Spirit? Hold on a second. Get it out. Let's see what this Universal Dragons deck has to say for you guys. Yeah, right out the deck. Inspiration. Okay? You're, you've been inspired. And look, you're disciplined. This is about creativity and being disciplined enough to bring it towards you. And we have the bliss, we have a bliss card again. You're disciplined enough to reach your goals. Because, and that's, that looks like a big old star to me. Okay. I feel like you 
have inspirations, you have aspirations for yourself, you have goals to reach because you have bliss that you're trying to attain no matter the storms that come with it from that other people bring and you're disciplined enough to make it happen yeah we have a change of perspective here okay to be of service to others to come together understand other people's perspectives okay people of different cultures belief systems Whatever it is, the differences are. I mentioned the differences in all of these people here. And working together as one. So that we can be of a service to the collective. And we have an awakening here. All chakras in alignment. That's also a tree of life. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Glowing, f flowing with the glow. There it is. <laughs> and having the fortitude. Yeah. That's a glow up right there. Flowing with the glow. Damn. All, both cards right behind each other, right next to each other. That's insane. <laughs> And look, another orange dragon having the determination to see it through. We have wisdom and guidance right next to each other. Divine wisdom. Because you know how to be in the stillness. You know how to listen through, yeah, through meditation. Look at that. I love these cards. They're beautiful. Wow. Okay. Gorgeous. Let's see. Which one do you want me to read on, Spirit? I feel like it's the service card. Yeah, it's right on the back of the book, too. Thank you, Spirit. Confirmation. Lifting the lamp higher so that he may cast his light for others to see. This dragon of communal ties is called to serve others during their times of need, to share his wisdom, and to help those who need it most. He's here asking you to do the same. To serve is one of the highest spiritual callings. You have amassed knowledge and have empathy for the situations and sufferings of others. It's now time to use those gifts in service. There should be no ego in service, so share your light with the world and help those in the dark to find their own light. And that's exactly right. Coming together with other people in oneness to serve others, to serve the collective. Wow. Beautiful. I love this. This is amazing, beautiful energy. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, dragons. Okay. I've got I've got my dragon. I need to put my dragon back on the table. <laughs> he normally sits right here. And then I got my other little dragon right there on top of my crystal ball. Thank you, dragons. And I've got my, uh, I've got little toothless right here. My big toothless is over there. Uh, I have dragons everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, dragons. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, angels. Thank you, Metatron. Thank you for looking out for us. Thank you for warding off and protecting us from lower vibrational energies. Thank you for helping us come together as one. 
Hang in there, guys. I love you guys. Keep going. Keep showing fortitude. Keep having the determination. That's going to get you straight to the top, baby. I love you guys. Peace, love, and light.